Hey, what's up? It's been a while since I made just like a normal sitting down video. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but I was going through a box that I've had in the backseat of my car for like probably close to a year now. And I found some really old pictures and notebooks and stuff. And I came across this um, notebook that I used to keep journals in. And when I read this, like it, it's really deep. I'm just gonna warn you now. Um, it was, I was, it was, it's dated April 6th, through, uh, April 6th, 2005, so I was 17 years old. I was 17 years old. And I debated whether or not I wanted to make this, but, I, um, obviously I, I have drank alcohol since I wrote this, but it's still kind of an insight to why I felt for a very long time and still do feel um, the way I do about drugs and alcohol. So I'm going to just jump right into this. April 6, 2005. By the way, I don't think my mom or any of my brothers have ever read this or knew how you even wrote this. The drugs and alcohol have screwed up life. His life, his wife's life, his entire family's life. For years they begged him to stop before it got out of control. He never listened. He always knew what was right. His wife cries from day in to day out. The son, the youngest, cries each night in secret within his four walls. All love is gone. Now there's hatred and bitterness. He stumbles in each night in a drunken state. He's unaware of what goes on around him. Doesn't have a clue as to all the pain he's caused and continues to cause. The boy struggles to make it through each day, doing all he can to separate school from home. Graduation is ahead, but he fears at times that he won't even make it. He knows that if he does, his father won't be present to watch his final son walk across stage and, re and receive what he's worked so hard for. The wife, the mother, she's the best friend to him. He's cried on her shoulder numerous times. She's been there through it all. Not one time has she ever turned her back. They've cried together, laughed together. They've lived together through it all. The mental abuse, the emotional abuse. He hates that she has to go through all the pain. Why her? He asks, why? She's never done a thing to deserve this. She's the best mother any son or daughter could ask for. The best wife a man could ever want. Of course, the husband fails to see this. He'd rather spend all his time with drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. They've become his new family. He'd choose them any day over her. Although he won't admit it, we all know it's true. The boy hates the drugs. He loathes the alcohol. He's sworn to never touch either. If there's one good thing about it all, it's that he's learned from it. He's learned from drugs and alcohol and what they do. Not from a video or a textbook. Not from a teacher or a friend. But he's learned it because he's lived it. He's learned that more than hurting the body, the drugs and alcohol hurt the family more than anyone could ever imagine. Another sleepless night. And he prays that someday soon, it'll all be over. <sighs> I haven't read this probably since I wrote it. Um, when I was 17 years old. I'm 24 now. Um, there's probably some more really... I, I didn't want to go through all of them. But there's probably some more really deep ones in here. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my personal life. Because people, you know, a lot of people know that I'm crazy and stupid. And I love attention. And I just... You know, uh, but I've been through a lot growing up, and, you know, my family has been through a lot, and I like to just share sometimes things that I've been through, because I know a lot of times, I've had a lot of people come to me and say that, you know, watching my videos about me coming out have helped them out, and, you know, I just, I, wanna, I wanted to make this video just to know that, you know, I've been through a lot with drugs and alcohol, and not me doing them, um, but I know how they can affect a person's life from having someone do them who is so close to you in your life. And I just wanted to share this with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, not, not enjoy this, not really something you enjoy, but, um, that was just a peek into some of the things that I went through growing up. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.